Got a question here from Nick Kuz. Can you run through how to pull out equity and how the finance works for that? That's a really great question. In fact, I'll show you an example of a real case scenario of a client I'm helping to refinance and cash out equity right now. So I've got a couple here. Income right now combined is about $150,000. They purchased a house in Inter Crescent Denim Court and they purchased it in 2016 for $720,000. Now this couple also follows me on TikTok and saw that equity release video and go, oh, why don't we do an equity release? So let's do it. So before we start on anything, I did a valuation on the property. I blacked it out for privacy reasons. Uh, the property right now is worth $1,080,000. That will be the first step of the equity release uh, based on this couple that's on a combined income of $150,000. I did the valuation on the property, tick. As I've shown you, the property is worth $1,080,000. At 80% uh, borrowing capacity, the loan will be $864,000. The reason I'm using 80% is because that's a maximum loan to value ratio that you can borrow against a security without incurring mortgage insurance. Now the client's current lender is Rams and the balance right now is $525,820.70. I pop this figure over here. I then chuck it into my calculator. It works out that the client has a potential of $338,179.30 of equity. That completes step two, which is working out the equity. Step three is very simple. He's asking the client, you want it? Hmm, I wonder what the client will say. Of course I want it. Fourth step is structuring. So loan number one will be the original loan balance, 525 And loan number two will be 338179 30 and next is the product type. So the two options that the client has is to stay with the existing bank, which is Rams, or go. And the client chose to go, which is HSBC, and they're getting a cash back of $3,288 to cover all their uh, refinancing costs, which is around 500 bucks. And the product they picked is a two-year fixed rate, which is with HSBC for loan number one, which is this loan balance, the original one. Loan number two, which will be the cash out, that would be a variable product interest only and the repayments will come out of a offset account but the trick here guys is that you do not make any repayments on this because all this money which is the uh, uh, 338 will be put into here so that's dollar for dollar offset 100% off that offset and the client does not need to pay any repayments on this loan facility next step is submitting the loan bada bing bada boom a few moments later which is the final step, the client gets a better rate with HSBC versus Rams. Um, they got some cash back in their wallet, minus some fees, so about around 2,800 plus in their wallet, and they got a spare facility to use. Hopefully that answers your question.